जाने समझे ज्ञान वास्तु शास्त्र का सिख भी अग्नि So my friends, when the north is perpendicular like this of the plot or the building, then this is the north-south line, this is the east-west line, this is the northeast-southwest line and this is the northwest-southeast line. Now the north is getting say about 45 degrees, the northeast is getting 45 degrees, the east is getting 45 degrees. Southeast 45, South 45, Southwest 45, West 45, Northwest 45. So, what happens is 45 into 8, so this is 360 degrees. So, it is a circle of 360 degrees. The four directions and the four sub directions they get the same level of energy. As a result, this is supposed to be a good orientation. This is supposed to be a good arrangement, right? But when it gets deflated, what happens? Let us see here. When it gets deflated, the north comes here, the east goes here, the south instead of here, it has gone here, the east has gone here, the north has gone here and the west has gone here. As a result, northeast comes into the center southeast comes into the center southwest in the center and northwest comes in there. now what happens is that when you draw on your computer such a line you will come to know that northeast is getting 60 degrees and the east gets only 30 degrees the southeast get about gets about 60 degree south gets 30 degree southwest gets 60 degrees west gets 30 degree northwest 60 degrees and north 30 degrees now what happens is that 1 2 3 and 4 60 into 4 is 240 and 30 into 4 is 120 so the directions get the energy of 120 degrees and the sub directions get energy of 240 degrees and then they become 6 360 degrees right so there is an imbalance here and because there is an imbalance here, what we see is because the element of water, the element of water instead of 45, it gets 60, the element of fire gets 45, instead of 45 gets 60, the element of earth instead of 45 gets 60 and the element of air instead of 45 gets. So, all the four elements in all get an additional 60 degree circumference. As a result, there is a lot of energy level here because all the energies earth water fire air all the energies have more space and more area to perform therefore this is a very energetic land now what happens is that if you have an industry here if there is a city that has got a deflated north like this and then the industries come in here then these industries grow a lot because these this land demands more work, more work, more work and then the industries grows, grows, grows and gives more work, more work, more work to the uh, piece of land or maybe that city. So, there is a lot of industrial work coming in here, there is a lot of activity, activity coming in. Here. So, it is good for industry, but supposingly there was your house here, now this house is asking for more work, means there are three maids in the house. They work like anything, but there are three ladies in the house also, the wife and the mother-in-law and the daughter, they are also working too much in the house to maintain the house and the housework is never getting finished. Even at 11 there are people in the kitchen and in the morning 5 o'clock there are people in the kitchen. So every day there is something or the other going in in the house. So the housework never comes to an end. So the ladies in the house along with the maids, they all work like maids and the work never complete. 
so that becomes very disturbing and the other thing is that why you should not go into a deflated house because i will show you something now we realize that the human body that sleeps in our house is comfortable only like this only like this right he is comfortable like this but supposingly there is a deflated plot and the plot is like this now this is a plot and the north is here and the east is here therefore north east is here that means this human body is sleeping like this which is not a good position now he is not comfortable therefore if in this house there is somebody who tells me that there are two people who has got pain in the joints i will say i don't uh, uh, it is not a surprise to me because the way you have designed your house is wrong wrong because this he is not comfortable he does not sleep like this yeah. and and then on additional if your main wall goes like this then if somebody has migraine somebody has got pain in the spine then it is not a surprise for me because this type of construction do give this type of illnesses you get my point yeah. so this is one that is wrong for homes if it is an industry it is okay but if it is a, a home then it is not okay you may i'll show you one more combination a very bad combination and you will realize that oh this is it this is a science now supposingly the north is here and the east is here and this is northeast now how does the vastu man sleep how's the human body sleep i'll show you this is his head yeah this is his uh, uh, elbow. Ah, elbow this is a knee. knee this is his leg legs this is his elbow this is his knee, knee. this is now he sleeps like a butterfly now do you realize now if somebody has got severe headache if all in the family have got back pain and and also the pain in the feet nothing surprising you have designed your house like that and you have not made sure that the vastu man the human body sleeps comfortably if he is not comfortable you are not comfortable Definitely. you can never never have these are again i would say these are unpardonable flaws unpardonable mistakes that you make in your homes yeah. so if he is not if he is a human body how can he sleep like a butterfly, butterfly? definitely so these are the things that you have to take care when you are taking a deflated property and when you take a deflated property you must make sure actually it is a job of the town planner to make sure that what sort of plots he is designing in the city because if he is giving allowing uh, such sub plots to be sold in the market then he is responsible because he should take care that the house should be in a square or the plot or uh, the plots should be square so that people can build nicely because yeah. the developer will try to sell his land or sell his sub plots the way he likes the way it is more marketable yeah. but then people who buy those plots people who go and live in those plots in those houses should not be unhappy yeah right yeah definitely so mr gani now we can move on uh, to the next topic because this is all done and now uh, after the uh, formation of the main gates and uh, talking about the main gates i would like to ask you uh, about the money bank where should we keep it in our house okay uh, we all uh, <laughs> because that is considered to be a very private thing and in fact people are just bothered about money like where the, they should keep it where no one can see it yes uh, in fact i would like to tell here something that my guru my mentor told me once that uh, all that we gave to human beings or living creatures on this planet is enough for for ages yeah so you have oil you can use it for ages you have crude you have got water you have got mountains you have got sky you have got good environment you have got rivers you have got ponds you have got trees you have got plants all this was done by us us, us means gods god right and it is all in bounty there will there will never be shortage of yeah, all this right definitely 
but only one thing was developed by human beings and they got stuck with that and you know what money paper currency okay so gold was by him silver was by him all metals were. but paper currency is a product of human beings and human beings are stuck with that they cannot do without it and they don't have it yeah they cannot do without it and, and they, they don't, don't have, have it. there's no bounty of right paper currency yeah. but he says whatever we gave to human beings it's in bounty you can have it you know as much you want isn't yeah. it so he says we are not responsible for the shortage of paper currency because we never developed this thing it was developed by human beings human beings now let us talk about where to keep paper currency at home okay so this is north this is east this is south, south and this and is west. west like i said you should have your bed like this this is yeah. your master bedroom yeah. the main earning member it is obvious that the main earning member will keep the currency it is In obvious that the main earning member will keep the checkbooks and it is obvious that the main earning member will keep the ornaments well, okay so the right perfect place for any such uh, safe is to put it in the south east of the southwest room okay but it should face north why because wealth is here we had discussed yeah. earlier north stands for wealth wealth so your safe should be facing north, north. and it should open in north. north because the god of wealth must look into your uh, safe so that he can bless it yes. right yeah. so the safe is here here for 1 to 31st that or is or 1 to 30th oh right man. however this is the only safe that are we are going to use forever yeah. if you cannot keep it for whatever the reason over here then in the southeast room you can keep it here again north facing okay okay but the If condition cannot, is that it should be north facing north facing if you cannot keep it here then you can keep it here again here but not north facing. facing right you can keep it here north facing right this is the first best this is the second, second best. best however if you don't want to keep it north facing for whatever the reason then you can keep it east, east facing okay okay east facing is second best north facing is first, first best. best but wherever you keep try to keep it in the south of the house and north facing or east of the house uh, mm -hmm. in the e south, south region of the house yeah. southern region of the house right yeah. so this is it let me go further that the lord of wealth is here okay in the olden days when there was no paper currency it used to be gold and silver people used to keep their wealth in gold and silver they would sell their sheep they will sell their uh, uh, camels sell their cows and buffaloes and eventually after all the barter when they have to uh, when they have something left with them they will go for barter of gold or silver yeah now they used to make a pit here okay and this pit used to have a flap door which will open like this and go like this and they used to put all the jewelry silver and gold into this, this pit. pit and they will request the lord of wealth that please take please secure and safeguard our wealth because you are the lord of wealth and you we are requesting you that this wealth should be secured by you yeah. right and they will also request him that please bless us that this be a one way traffic okay. every year after all doing all the barter we should be only in a position to put the wealth inside but we should not come in any such situation where we have to take, take out, out the wealth. money and use our savings yeah. so they used to also ask for this blessing that it has should be a one way traffic okay you get me yeah. so they used to put that wealth here because there were no lockers and no banks then Yeah. So all the extra money used to be put here, but for the first to thirty-first, 
for uh, uh, their daily expenses they used to keep their money here so this used to be their bank but after then afterwards when uh, when things changed in the society then there were private bankers and we will put our money in the bank we will put our jewelry in the we'll lockers yeah. so this system gone went away okay okay yeah. otherwise in those days whenever a thief will enter your house he will not look for here and there for where 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 yeah. he will only he knows that everyone must be keeping the wealth here he will only go there okay but that thief was also very smart and he knew so many things about this science of uh, home, home building, building that he would go to an extent of understanding a house structure and he will puncture from say here say for example he will puncture from here yeah now he punctures from here and he says if i puncture from here i will be successful in committing the theft okay so he gets his confidence by coming from here or here then then after committing the theft he doesn't go out from here okay then he has his own calculations and he says if i go out from here then whatever losses this gentleman has incurred he will be able to earn the same amount of money within 2 years if i puncture from here Okay. so he will also take good care that though i have committed a theft in his house i have been successful in committing a theft but he was nice enough kind enough to think that if i do something like this this combination then he will still earn back the lost lost money mm. and be rich again yeah. so he used to also think of the gentleman whom he is looting okay so this science can go to that extent i have no idea of this but i know that there was some such situation some such facility in the science that is why i say i just know the 2% of the science but there is a very in depth knowledge to the science so even Definitely. the thieves used to manage to used to work out their success by studying the structure first and then entering, entering the, house. the house then they Definitely. would make a judgment from where to enter the house yeah. you get my point yeah. so it is very very wonderful and there were people in those olden days that they used to from just seeing the house from outside they used to tell the future of the eldest son and the eldest daughter of the owner of the house supposingly this is uh, the plinth and this is the door and then this is the window right yeah so a man who is standing a consultant like me who is standing outside the door right he will see this window and say he can forecast the future of the eldest son yeah and he sees this window and he can forecast the future, future of the eldest, the eldest daughter. daughter i mean can you imagine how he must be doing from he must be getting indications from a crack here from the uh, erosion of the paint or whatever you know okay. but he used to get those uh, symptoms those indications from just seeing the house from outside and he will forecast the future of the eldest son and the eldest daughter and from the main door of the main, main uh, person, person in the family so it is like you know uh, so there are so many ways yeah astrology and uh, tarot cards and uh, this science of home building they can all uh, be telling the future aao jaane sta